Hey Collective, this is a special reading for Mercury Retrograde that's happening between September 9th through October 1st. So let's see what's going on. Y'all know, y'all gotta have patience with y'all selves during Mercury Retrograde. Y'all know it's a bunch of electrical problems, hiccups, delays, communication problems, travel issues, okay? Uh, problems with your cars. So you're gonna have to be very patient. <clears throat> Wusa, okay, and take your time during uh, this retrograde. We are in the shadow part of it, so we're already feeling the effects of it, okay, a few days before the retrograde starts. So what does the collective need to know, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, anything that they need to know during this Mercury retrograde that's coming up September 9th through October 1st, please. We have the High Priestess, yeah. Some of you um, could be dealing with the Pisces, but you need to use your intuition, okay? Lean on spirit. I also feel like a lot of you need to start meditating more, okay? Being alone, spending that alone time, seeing what spirit is really saying to you. Really tap into your spiritual side, this Mercury retrograde. You're going to need spiritual strength, I feel. So if you pray, if you meditate, you know, if you do different affirmations, whatever you do to connect with spirit, I feel like that's going to be very important during this time. The sun card is here. Yeah, there could be a, a need to um, connect with, I feel like, what with what makes you happy. Because during the retrograde, things could really piss you off. The sun is all about joy and happiness. So really connect with what makes you happy, Okay getting back to the things that bring uh, joy to your life, that bring you a sense of peace as well. And I also feel like um, whatever you have been keeping to yourself, it's time to bring it to light. High Priestess is the keeper of secrets. The sun is bringing things to light. It illuminates things. So if you've needed to talk to someone about something, if you've always wanted to say something to someone, tell someone something, confess something, now is the time to do it, okay? Don't be afraid because a, a lot of the time people during the retrograde, they hold back and then they get frustrated. But this is the time to say what you've always wanted to say. That's why Mercury retrograde comes up. It helps us remember what was and why it's coming back in our lives. So if you need to give someone closure, if you need closure from someone, if you need to close out a cycle on a job and move to a new one, if you if you need to move, you know, if you need something to be fixed, that's why Mercury Retrograde comes up, okay? Wow. What else for the collective for this Mercury Retrograde? What do they need to know? The Death card. Scorpio energy is here. Also Leo with the sun. There needs to be some type of transformation, you guys. I don't know if you've been, you know, thinking about more spiritual things or you've been becoming more enlightened. Maybe you've been studying spiritual things, okay, on your own time, your downtime. You guys, there needs to be some type of death and rebirth, which is all um, the death card is about is Scorpio's energy is the death and rebirth. So a cycle that needs to end so something new can begin in your life, okay? So like I was saying, don't be afraid to make those important changes that you need to in your life. Whatever cycles that need to be closed out, go ahead and speak your peace to close out those cycles, okay? What else for the collective for Mercury Retrograde that they would need to know? Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's time to, for a lot of you to stand your ground. You're going to have to stand your ground. Now, if you got some people coming back into your life that you know are not supposed to be in your life, it's time for you to say what you need to say to these people and close the door for the last and final time. Queen of Swords, okay? I feel like a lot of you are becoming more intelligent just in your life in general, overall, like you're starting to realize what, I feel like what your worth is or what your value is. Like if you're, for example, if you're on a job, it's like, I know my worth, you know, I deserve to be paid more. I deserve a raise. I deserve a promotion. 
Like a lot of you need to say, Queen of Swords is communication. A lot of you need to speak up for yourselves and say what you know you deserve, okay? King of Cups is here. Yeah, there could be a person on your mind, someone that you have a lot of feelings for. And I feel like for a lot of you, wow, King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you um, possibly during this retrograde could be thinking of, about someone who you haven't really been talking to, but there's still emotions between the two of you, okay? When it comes to your love life, there's been a lot of secrets held back with the High Priestess and with the Sun, there's a need to communicate and bring to light these emotions, okay? And there could be some type of transformation that happens after there's been a death of some sort. Could have been a death of communication, a death of this, you know, relationship with, with this person. But I feel like if you have not been speaking to someone, it's time to communicate feelings, okay? What does my collective need to know? I put the Queen of Swords back in. Whoa, Ten of Swords, yeah. There's been some type of hurt or betrayal here. Uh, definitely an ending, okay? But the Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. And that shows me that there could be a strong magnetic attraction between you and another person. But there's also a lot of misunderstandings here. Yeah, Seven of Wands, a lot of guarded energy. Yeah, with the hard font <clears throat> a lot of you i'm just gonna say it like this for this second half of the year uh now that we're in september it's the fall season i feel like for this ending of this year i feel like a lot of you are saying you know what i want a real commitment and i'm not gonna settle for less okay it's not enough to just have emotions are you really committed? It's like you need to start asking this person the tough questions. Are you really committed to me? Do you really want what I want? Do you want long term with me? Do you want a family? Do you want marriage? For many of you, you are choosing to get a divorce. I do see that energy as well. Choosing to end something that you were committed to for a long time. Many of you are going to choose to walk away. Wow. Anything else for the collective? King of Swords, it did come out. Eight of Cups, yeah, walking away from someone who's been closed off emotionally, someone who's possibly a player or reckless or uh, immature energy, okay? Someone who has not shown you the depth of themselves. Maybe they were more shallow, okay? And they refuse to open up. And I feel like Eight of Cups, you are choosing to walk away from something that just was not benefiting you or has not been benefiting you. Whether that's a lover, a co-worker situation on a job, manager, I feel like even a family member. It's like I'm choosing to walk away from this and I'm no longer uh, allowing this person to use or abuse me in any kind of way. And I feel like for some of you, this could be even a friend, okay? Someone you invested in for a long time, and it's like, you know what? I'm releasing that. I'm letting it go. Anything else my collective would need to know during this retrograde? Three of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be some type of heartbreak here, okay? Wow, I pulled out two. The Emperor with the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Walking, for many of you, walking away from an Emperor... Possibly someone who you respected at one point, okay? And it's like the love has been lost. For others of you, I feel like there's going to be heartbreak surrounding even a father figure is what I'm getting very strongly. There's going to be some type of heartbreak here. And you may feel like, you know, giving up with the Nine of Wands. But it's like Spirit is encouraging you to keep going, okay? Even though something is hard, Six of Wands, yeah, keep going. Many of you, once you get over something that was devastating, Queen of Swords is back out. Once you get over something that was devastating, I feel like you're going to come into something that is very successful at the same time. For others of you, I'm feeling like someone, <coughs> excuse me, who is an Emperor Energy is still holding on to the thought of being with you and they still want to come in and fix things with you and work on things with you. 
Anything else that my collective would need to know during this retrograde? Yeah, Ten of Cups. Getting your emotional fulfillment. Hangman, someone's seeing something differently here. And Magician, manifesting. A lot of you are manifesting your own happiness. It's like, I'm moving into my new house. I, I'm putting down the down payment. Whatever was stuck, it's like, I'm coming out of that stuck energy. A lot of you need to be manifesting during this Mercury retrograde, okay? For others of you, of you who are dealing with a love situation, I feel like with that Ten of Cups, someone is seeing this situation as, you know what? I feel that I can have a family with you. I feel like I can have a home with you. I feel like I can build with you. And I'm manifesting with you, okay? Six of Cups. I feel a soulmate energy with you. Past life soulmate. Yeah, show me that emperor. Eight of Swords. This person has been overthinking. Yeah, to reconcile. Three of Cups. The moon energy. This person has a lot of deep emotions that they've held to themselves. And you may hear from somebody... You guys, you may hear from somebody during this retrograde. Yeah, for my collective, if this person wants to come back during the retrograde, what is this person's intentions? Ace of Cups, to start over with new love. Yeah. Six of Swords. Wanting to come in to make it right. Justice. They may be a bit nervous here, not fully knowing how you're going to respond. But yeah, they have feelings here. Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles. They're not sure if you still feel the same way. And this is what makes them feel a bit threatened here with the Five of Wands. They may feel threatened and conflicted. <clears throat> What's the advice for the collective? During this Mercury retrograde, what is the advice for the collective? Take courage, you guys. And that is what I was saying at the very beginning. Go back and watch this video again, you guys. So you can pick up whatever messages you feel are standing out to you. I feel like it's time to take courage. Say the things that you need to say. Whether you feel like they are good or bad. It's time to live in your emotions. Do not be afraid of what you feel. Okay? Say how you feel when you feel it. Take courage. It says, be courageous. Stand up for your beliefs. A lot of you, it's time for you to stand up for what you believe in. And speak your truth. Whatever you've been hiding... Whatever you've been keeping back for so long, it's time to bring all of those things to light. You're going through some type of transformation here, a lot of you, during this retrograde. You're going to see things differently, you guys. Divine order, yes. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Things, things, I feel like saying this, things may not make sense completely to you. You may be having dreams that are crazy. You may be getting spiritual downloads, hits, seeing, you know, angel numbers and all this synchronicity stuff. And you may be like, what the hell is going on in my life? It's because spirit is trying to uh, awaken you, okay, to divine order. See past the illusion of everyday life. Spirit wants you to go deeper, you guys. Everything is how it needs to be right now. What else for the collective, for the advice? You know what to do. Look at that card. You know what to do. It says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Many of you have felt like you've been delayed or you've been... Uh, strategically delaying something, you know what to do. You just need to have courage that everything is happening the way it's supposed to be happening in divine order. You already know what you need to be doing, you guys. So stop second guessing yourself, okay? Wow, Spirit is coming through with some strong messages. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, be like everyone else with. I don't know who needs to hear this, but 
I feel like it's one of those moments like I don't know who's watching this but somebody needs this message okay someone needs to be encouraged chakra clearing the last card of the the reading call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sac sacred geometric shapes you guys it's time to clear your energy if you've been around negative people negative thinking people negative speaking people people you know you try to share your dreams or your goals with somebody and they're like oh, you'll never do that you can never be that uh no that that's not gonna work that'll never work people who keep shooting down your dreams they are dream killers and you need to separate yourself from those kinds of people okay learning how to clear your energy you guys taking a spiritual bath you know do a spiritual cleanse on yourself during this mercury retrograde it's a time of releasing things that no longer serve us okay closing out cycles that have been going on year after year after year it's time to clear our energy you guys and the color purple is standing out to me on these two cards um, and the color purple for me stands for royalty. It's time to take your royal place, you guys. You are a person of high prestige. And maybe you've never heard of that. No, maybe no one has ever told you that. But you are important. You are loved. You are wanted. You are desired. Okay? So whatever you've been feeling like feeling down about yourself, feeling like you could never achieve anything. It's time to release those negative emotions and it's time to step up into your rightful place, okay? And I feel like during this Mercury retrograde, a lot of you are going to start seeing yourselves in a new light and spirit is going to awaken you. Be gentle with yourselves. Gentleness is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you have been too hard on yourselves. Be gentle with yourself. And remember, always have patience during this retrograde because your patience will be tested as you are shifting and changing things, not only in your waking life, the 3D, but also the 5D. And that spirit begins to reveal things to you. Okay? All right, you guys. Love you much. Blessings, love and light your way. Sending it now. Okay, take care. Bye.